hello you guys welcome here back to a new vlog it is the day after what's the sentence today is the first day of real life basically we got back from our anniversary trip last night and just apologies for the way that i'm sounding because the last couple days of the trip i ended up just like getting something like a little bug or something we had to pass a covid test so i know it's not covid <laughs> um but i don't know what it is i'm feeling super yucky today um mainly just i'm not like super super yucky yesterday i was like really bad i don't know if it was because i was traveling today like my body feels better but it's like my ears hurt my nose hurts my head hurts and my throat hurts so everything here is struggling today um i'm drinking my coffee even though i don't feel like drinking coffee do you guys know that sick feeling or like sick taste in your mouth do you guys know what i'm talking about like i hate that is it like phlegm is it ugh? is it just it's just like sick and like no amount of brushing my teeth can take it away i just feel like i taste sick so that and coffee like doesn't mix but i have a lot to do today so i'm like let's just get back into routine this is what i would normally be doing oh my god and literally my nails did so well and then i got home last night and i was brushing my teeth and it popped off <laughs> so i'm missing one nail um i have to put that on later today but yeah this might be one day in my life it might be a couple days depending on how much i get done but i just wanted to bring you guys along for like a nice little reset vlog we're gonna do laundry the dishes um we have to grocery shop and just get myself kind of back into life um kind of happy it's friday because work wise it's not too hectic um so that means i can kind of just like focus on house projects um stuff like that so anyway um i will say my past self is just like thanking this present self because before we left i like did all the dishes i cleaned everything so our house is fairly like good um but i just of course have like all the laundry all the unpacking all of that so i do also have to run out and get like some dayquil or something i thought it was swimmer's ear i don't know why but um well actually i do know why so when i started getting sick in the hotel it was just like of course the like i don't know maybe this is not a great topic to talk about to everybody but just the status of our world i feel like whenever someone's sick i'm always like is it COVID? is it go you know like that's just like the first sign of everything um and of course like i couldn't get that because then i can't come home so um i was researching in my hotel room just my ears just like burn like they just have a very like burny feeling and I remember years ago my sister getting swimmer's ear and I don't know if they just call it that or if it really it does have to do I think it does have to do with water because it like gets trapped into your little ears and then creates like an infection so I thought that that's what it was because we did on Tuesday we did like a whole like excursion day and we were in like rivers all day and all that and I was like okay well maybe that's it I don't know um so then I texted her like some of her symptoms and her symptoms were like way worse than mine so I don't think it's that anymore I think it's just maybe like a little yucky cold so a little unfortunate to finish out the trip that way but it was totally fine so yeah I want to get some medicine to just like get it in my body i want to get like great like oranges or something um yeah we start 75 hard again i wonder if you guys are wondering <laughs> when i started this what did i say i said i do not want to have to do it again i don't want to do it again i don't want to start over but like why would we go on a trip if i have to work out twice i have to drink a gallon of water and i can't eat sweets which honestly the sweets wasn't worth it uh so that was a bit of a bummer but that's okay um so then Sebastian asked me on the way home like what we want to do and honestly I think forever maybe not forever because life gets crazy but for the foreseeable future I want to drink a gallon because I 
I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. It makes me feel so good. It makes my skin really good. So I still wanted to do that. I obviously still want to work out and it's totally fine to do two workouts. It sounds like a lot. I know I was kind of complaining in <laughs> other vlogs, I'm sure. Um, it's not that hard. And the reading, of course, I always read. And what else do we have? To, oh, it's like a progress picture, which takes no effort. So I was like, honestly, why can't I just do it? I think my thing is like, I don't want to do, I think here's my thing. I don't want to do like 75 days and then not. I think I just want to continue on doing it um, until... And then yeah, if something comes up like a trip, totally fine to stop. If um, there's a day where I'm feeling sick, I don't know, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm still gonna continue on having that lifestyle. And as far as like the eating goes, we're doing this like eating plan that I've talked about, which we love, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. So yeah, the eating plan we really love and that's not gonna change. I honestly think it's the like no sugar that I hate that I hate 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 so I feel like yeah I don't know we're trying to figure Sebastian's changing his eating plan a little bit because he's training really hard for his triathlon later on this year so he is actually like counting macros or something so that's kind of what he's doing he's like focusing on that and we're not like cutting out a specific thing anymore just because I cannot <laughs> live that way anymore so I don't know what mine's gonna be because I am gonna do a video of like eating through the meal plan with you guys and it is like super good for you it makes me feel really great it's like real food easy to consume easy to buy like nothing's really like crazy out there I don't know do you know what I mean it's not like crazy ingredients um so I love it so I'm like I feel like I'm already eating okay and then if I go to someone's house and I have a piece of cake that is fine do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I love living my life that way. <laughs> and I don't think that's an excuse because I already did something I don't want to do for like 42 days. It was very challenging, very tough. And I just started to realize like, that's just how I like to live my life. And so yeah, 75 hard, we're still on, we're still getting back into it, but it's just a little bit different now, if that makes sense. So I'm excited about it, honestly, today. I don't know if I'm gonna like do an intense workout. I think I'm just, I'm supposed to be running, but I think I'm just gonna, hold on, I'm gonna see. <laughs> today, I'm just probably gonna go on a nice, like fresh air walk to get everything in motion. Maybe it's allergies. Do you guys feel like this when you have allergies? Do your ears hurt? Maybe. Um, so yes. That was just such a blabby little intro, but come along with me. I'm about to pop on some YouTube videos. I came home last night and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to watch all my YouTube videos. <laughs> like I just went on this amazing, lovely trip with my husband. And you ever just like get back and you're like, I can't wait to catch up with my friends. So anyway, I have lots of YouTubes to catch up on, which will keep me busy as I'm doing laundry and all the things. So. Let's get into it. I hope that you guys enjoy this. It's going to be a fun one. Let's do it. So it's been a little bit. Um, I've been working from bed because that's the vibe today. And I had to go to Target to do some exchanges. And then I figured I would just pick up what I needed to get there. So I thought we'd do a little Target haul. It's so random, but some good things. Um, I needed to stock up on some tampons because I literally started my period 
yesterday <laughs> and thank goodness I had some left over in my bag because I was at the airport so these are my favorite ones to get from Target they come in a nice like big packaging and I like the combo of light to regular because yeah I my periods are light to regular <laughs> so anyway um yeah this lasts me a really long time i really love it and then oh my goodness so i don't know what it is but everybody on tiktok is eating pickles and they look amazing so i wanted to get a lot of people are getting just regular pickles and then putting a packet of ranch dressing like the powder in your pickles and then you let it sit for like a day and then their ranch flavored pickles. They look amazing. So I was gonna get those ones, but then I also see so many people talking about these ones specifically. My mouth is watering. So I was like, okay, I'll get these. And I don't know why, I've never really been a pickle fan, but something about everybody eating pickles is just like, what the heck do I need to eat pickles? So these are the Grillo's pickles and I got the hot flavor. So they have like, um, the pickles and then it has jalapeno and garlic dill habanero and grape leaves and I've heard that they are amazing so I was very excited and then I had to get myself a classic sick <laughs> sprite because the taste in my mouth is so horrible um, and then I found this so everyone says that this cleaner smells like a candle from anthropology I believe I don't know which one but everyone says that it's the citrus grove um, so I got this big thing of it for like a cut literally probably like two dollars and I was gonna use it just for like soap things cleaning things but then when I looked on the back it gives you a little recipe to mop your floors and I was like wait i'm so over the like pine scented um mop cleaner so i thought this on my floors would be stunning so um yeah i got that i don't think i've ever smelled it so maybe i should smell it oh my gosh just so fresh so clean i think it will be great for this upcoming season and then i love my spray bottles um that you guys have probably seen. I just have like glass ones from Amazon. So I love to get like soap to refill them. And this is my favorite, sorry, my itches. I'm a mess today. This is my favorite um, multi-surface cleaner from Miss Myers. And I usually get the little spray of it. It is the um, peony scent and they had a big refillable one. So this is like a concentrate and I was so happy. So I got one um, to stock up on because I love it. Then I got, my cold medicine and then we needed um sebastian needed some deodorant so he loves the native brand and this is the citral oh my god the citrus and herbal musk and oh my goodness gracious this is the best smelling deodorant it's 11 dollars Actually, I think it's $11.99, so it's $12, but which seems <laughs> ridiculous for a little tiny, and it honestly didn't last him too long, but he tried another one just to kind of like, you know, get something that would last him a little bit longer, a little bit cheaper, and nothing compares. Like, we are obsessed with this. I am obsessed with the way he smells when he uses it, so that's my Target haul. Random, right? like so random but um i also got the cutest bracelet from majori they were so nice to send me a new one so this beaded one that i wear all the time is from majori as well i literally wear it every single day i shower with it and it's so heavy duty such like perfect quality i love it and then they just gave me this one i don't know what this like flat chain is like technically called but how cute i just think they're so fun together so i just came home to that which i thought was so sweet so thank you so much majority they are always the kind of my oh i don't have them in but my hoops are from them i just love them i have a necklace they're my favorite so anyway um, i'm gonna put some stuff away get myself a cold sprite and then head back into bed because that's where i've been working today and it's just what has to happen so I'll see you guys later. I can confirm that the pickles are absolutely, whoa, why am I not in focus? The pickles are absolutely amazing. I can confirm. They do have a bit of a spice, but I kind of love that uh, because it's not so like, ugh, pickly, but it's like crunchy, crispy, pickly, and then spicy. Mm. 
I love that. Hello you guys, it is the next day. Hopefully I don't have chocolate in my teeth. I'm so out of breath. What does that say about me? <laughs> um, it is the next day. It is Saturday. I'm still feeling terrible. Um, I shouldn't say terrible, I guess, because I still feel sick, but in a different way. It's like, now I'm not congested, it's just all in my throat. So I'm like, what? I don't know what's happening. Um, and then I forgot that I was vlogging. So I got up this morning whoa i'm just not looking great i got up this morning showered it was feeling good and i was like okay let me just clean the house let me just disinfect everything so i vacuumed i mopped i cleaned everything and we're gonna go to the grocery store later so i wanted to clean out the fridge which i haven't done so maybe we'll do that together but i forgot i was vlogging so i didn't film any of that so i'm sorry about that but yeah i'm still feeling the same um last night i went to bed at like eight o'clock i pretty much i got a lot of work done yesterday which felt really nice and then at like five i just like clocked out and only sat in the bed Sebastian gave me ramen which was nice to have something like warm on my throat um but i honestly have not had an appetite because it's just like no mouth it's just it's just that sick taste you know so I didn't really eat any of it and then I fell asleep so I'm still feeling the same but that's okay I'm taking today as another chill day I'm pretty sure I hit it a bit too hard this morning because now I just feel like poop but I'm in bed I'm eating frozen dark chocolate chips and watching some YouTube actually this is my new favorite youtuber this is not a good frame of her so I'm so sorry I hate when people do that of me but this is lipsticks and lattes I'm pretty sure that's it her name is Grace she is so hilarious she's like a real estate lawyer so that's how I found her and she is honestly just so hilarious so I definitely recommend I've been like been watching whoa i've been binge watching all of her videos and she just <laughs> makes me laugh so that's my saturday today it feels weird that it's saturday because i just came back from a vacation so it's like shouldn't i be doing something but it's the weekend so and i'm sick so guess not and yeah sorry about earlier today i don't know if you guys wanted to see me cleaning everything but it did feel nice i used my new soap for my like um floor the citrus one. Oh my gosh it smells so good you guys i'm telling you that big thing was like two dollars so worth it it smells absolutely amazing i know they have a couple other scents so if you don't like citrus there's probably another one for you but yeah i'm gonna continue on watching these youtube videos until probably like four and then i'll get myself out of bed <laughs> and get to the store okay it is three o'clock i am emerging <laughs> from the bedroom it's so bright, <laughs> but I said I was gonna go to the store at four o'clock. So I'm going to now clean out the fridge. I can show you all of what I cleaned today. Probably doesn't look like much, but the floors are nice and shiny. Everything is clean and tidy. I vacuumed. I'm feeling good about the cleaning situation, so. Um, I'm going to I forgot my headphones, but that's okay. I'm going to put on podcast Clean out this fridge. I thought we could do it together. I'm feeling so itchy in my eye. Hold on <laughs> Why is this so addicting? Okay Let's clean Exactly what I like with your hand on my 
keep going 95 at night. I just got back from the store, so I'm gonna unload everything, lay it all out for you, and then I can do a quick grocery haul. It's all organized. I thought we could go through it just really quickly. So we have some almond milk here, my favorite Starbucks coffee. I drink this every morning. I'm never gonna get over it, I love it so much. My favorite creamer is the Natural Bliss Sweet Cream. Then we have just some Greek plain yogurt. I love the Chobani, that's my favorite. We have some pasture-raised eggs. Um, cottage cheese has become like our new favorite snack. We love it so much. We also love a string cheese in this house, so she got the big pack. I love it. Um, and then mozzarella cheese. We go through like quite a bit on this meal plan. I've like I had to buy it so many times, and for some reason the big package of it always looks not good. So I got two little packages. Um, and then we needed feta as well as some Swiss cheese. This is also my favorite brand. I love it so much. Um, and then moving into like ugh, all the produce, um, we have some spinach. We also have some deli turkey for quick snacks, mushrooms, a red onion, a couple avocados. I always have to buy them like kind of almost green because other than that, you have to like eat an avocado in 30 seconds. Um, and we are not gonna be using these for like a couple days, so I don't want them to go bad. Then we have some kale, some asparagus. I got a couple of apples for like a little snack. I'm not a huge apple fan, but I'm trying. Um, a cucumber for snacks as well, and then a red and green bell pepper for a recipe. Um, tomatoes for recipes, let's see. Um, blueberries, I'm making these like blueberry muffins that are supposed to be really good. I have a couple, they're kind of spread out, but I have a couple limes and a couple of lemons. Radishes, I'm not a huge radish fan. I don't hate them, but I never really buy them, but we're making like a cob salad for lunches, so. I'm sure they'll be delicious. And then sweet potatoes, we've been loving our sweet potatoes right now. Um, bananas, and then a couple things of broccoli, as well as, I think I already said, green onions. And then we also have um, like a 50-50 spring spinach mix. I don't know what's happening there, but just a little salad mix. And then we needed some minced garlic. Oh shoot, I was supposed to get onions. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, well. We didn't need this, but whatever. Um, and then we also needed some paprika, a little bit of pizza sauce. We're doing like a veggie pizza, which I think will be so good. Um, then some Dijon mustard for the salad, as well as balsamic glaze. And then some cranberries as well. This is gonna go on top of the salad, I believe. We're doing some tostadas, so we got some of those. We love this bread. We have some already, but I like to always have one in the freezer um, and then just take it out when we use it. My favorite little treat has been frozen dark chocolate chips. So got some of those. I already talked about the pizza. Rolled oats because we're having oatmeal in the morning and then for, actually I don't know what this is for. I think we're doing like power balls. I don't know. Um, we needed some coconut flakes so I got that. And then I needed a whole wheat flour. I don't really love buying stuff like this when we're on the meal plan but I figured because it's flour, I can kind of use it whenever. I don't know, we'll see. And then I also needed some quick rise yeast because we're making the pizza dough. And then what I love about Winco is you can just get things in bulk and you don't have to buy like a whole thing. So I got some poppy seeds for the blueberry muffins and then this is flax meal or flax, no wait, what is this? No, this is hemp hearts, <laughs> sorry. This is hemp hearts and I like, um, it kind of looks like a lot but it's way cheaper than getting like a big thing of it and I honestly don't know how much we're gonna use so just got a little bit of that. And then I decided to treat myself because nothing has been sounding good and I honestly love these. So I got a little packet of these. Honestly, one time we went camping with our friends and we caught like the big white bag of these and I literally drunk eight the whole bag by myself. So, I love those. So that is everything. I survived the store. I feel good about it. Um, I'm going to now put this all away, probably get myself to bed. I don't know, I'm getting to the point in the day where I like, oh, my medicine's running away from my body, so I need to dose up on that. I'm just realizing I got a little sunburned um, on vacation. Um, but anyway, let's put this away.
Sorry that my toilet is right there. Maybe I'll go like this so you can see it, but I am just setting up my bath because I figured it'd be nice and warm and toasty to sit in the bath. So I'm gonna do that, but I figured um, we'd have a little book chat. Um, not a super long one, but this is the book I'm reading right now, What Alice Forgot. Have I already told you guys about this book? <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe I already have. I will just continue on, and if you've already heard it, you won't be seeing this. But yeah, this is the book that I'm reading. Super, super interesting. I couldn't um, decide if I wanted to read it or not, but honestly, there were like a lot of um, really great reviews about it, so I decided to tuck into it. So got a little <laughs> messed up at the beach, which is always tragic, but I'm really, really liking it. Basically, it's all about this woman, Alice, who at the beginning of the book, she's like, you know, very, well, very newly married, about to, like pregnant with her first kid, doesn't really know like her career yet, and then she hits her head and falls off of her spin bike at the gym, and she like totally forgets 10 years of her life. So basically the gym incident happened like 10 years after what we just read of like her getting married and her having her first baby, and then so she hits her head, wakes up, and thinks that she's 29 again, when really she's 39. <laughs> so she just kind of skips her whole life. She ha she wakes up, she finds out she's getting a divorce, she finds out um, she has three kids that she has n like no recollection. Recollection? I don't know, she doesn't remember them. And so it's very interesting and I love the writing style. Um, I love all the characters, it's been really fun. And I just keep thinking like, oh my gosh, what if this would happen to me? It's so sad because she's like married to the love of her life. And then to wake up and realize you guys are getting divorced and you can't stand each other, like that's so sad. So anyway, <laughs> I've just been really enjoying it. So that's what I'm reading right now. I'm actually still on my reading goal. I'm not as like ahead as I should be. I'm only like one book ahead. Um, so I'm cutting it pretty close <laughs> um, if I don't finish this one on time, but I'm still on my reading goal, which is fun. I actually don't know if I showed you guys this. So random, but how insanely cute is this? So Sebastian got this for me. It's a wine holder. Are you kidding me? So now I have my body pillow here and my wine holder, but I actually, you can put anything in there as long as it's like in a wine glass. So I've had like iced coffee in the bath in the morning. Um, I've had wine. It's just like the best thing ever. I love it so much. It looks like it's kind of, well, it is kind of low, but it wouldn't stick on this. So there really wasn't anywhere else to put it. But honestly, when my bath is filled up, it's not like in the way or anything. Anyway, random, but now I'm gonna start my bath. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, it is Mother's Day. As you can tell, I'm feeling so much better. I still sound gross, but I don't know, I feel like that always lingers the most, but I'm up, it's like 9 a.m. and I'm about to go run some errands. <sighs> Why am I always out of breath? I'm about to go run some errands to get some Mother's Day things. So we've got lots of mothers to celebrate today. We're doing like a little barbecue at Sebastian's grandma's house today. So I'm gonna get some like cute flowers. I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. It's probably going to be horrible today but um i'm gonna get some flowers and like they always have like cute little chocolates and stuff so i'm gonna get some flowers for um his mom his sister his aunt and his grandma and then um i have some stuff from my mom so i'm gonna see her later today and then it's also sebastian's stepdad's birthday <laughs> today so we are gonna get him a little something so i'm on a mission to get all of those things, um, which I'm actually excited about. It's kind of fun to get some like cute flowers and I don't know, I've just been stuck in the house for the last couple of days so it's nice to feel better and get myself out the door. So I'm already, my hair's a little, I didn't really brush it out just yet, but my hair's a little crazy. Um, and then I'm just wearing this super cute little dress. Maybe I can show you in the mirror. I know it's always so yellow in here, but this cute little spotty dress, um, but it's still a little chilly, so I just have on my comfy little Walmart cardigan. This is just like 
a blanket. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be my outfit today. It's gonna be nice and sunny. I don't think it's gonna be super hot, but I just wanted something a little comfy and cozy. So there's the little dress. I'm just gonna quickly pour my coffee into a little to-go cup so that I can finish it in the car. Um, we had a chilled night last night. I went to bed early again just because I wanted to have like a last night of like good rest, you know what I mean? And yeah, so I felt um, better this morning when I woke up, which was nice. Last night we literally made s'mores. I cannot even tell you that is my number one craving of life i love s'mores i think i could probably eat like 50 i love them so much so <laughs> i'm not starting like my new i don't know like getting back on track i guess i should say i don't even know but i'm not starting that until monday just because i'm like i don't feel up to it <laughs> um so last night sebastian got all the things to make s'mores we popped them in the broiler and oh my god they were so good. Um, the one fail is Sebastian literally got just one Hershey's bar. I was like, what are you thinking? Why did you not get a pack? <laughs> um, so I couldn't have more than two, which is actually probably fine, but kind of wanted more tonight. <laughs> so anyway, that is just um, another topic for another day, I guess. I just love us more. Um, so that was fun. And then I literally didn't do anything. I've just been chilling and i'm kind of over it so feels nice to have a nice little errand to do sebastian is on a bike ride because he's jumping back into things for his trainings and yeah it's gonna be a fun day i'm so excited if you are a mom watching this today is your day and you are so loved and a super mom whatever kind of mom you are a dog mom a plant mom a real mom, <laughs> a stepmom, anything you deserve a day full of love and celebrating and we're also thankful for you. So yeah, I'm excited to celebrate today. I feel like a mom because sometimes I'm Sebastian's mom <laughs> and no one got me anything. So, so anywho, cheers to moms. Let's go to Trader Joe's and hope we make it out alive. Okay, we've been hanging out with all the moms today. Now we're about to go to my mom's. I picked her up some flowers. Cute little Trader Joe's. It was slim pickings over there, but we got those. And then my mom loves a pinwheel, <laughs> so I got her some of those. And then I got her this cute little mug a while, ba a while back, a while back at <laughs> Target, and I think it's so cute. And I also got her a sun. <laughs> Our couch is like, why? Why do you always move that thing? Why do you hate that? It's just like in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, what did you get me for Mother's Day? Nothing, nothing yet. <laughs> Next year, maybe. Just kidding. Think so? No. 